and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some land destruction. That's right, we're playing a pretty janky looking teamer uh, land destruction deck. This is a donation deck that uh, <laughs> when, this is, when this works, this is going to be sweet. When this doesn't work, um, not so much. But um, what we're trying to do here is we are trying to destroy our opponent's lands. So in order to do that, we have four Demolish, destroy target land, four Rubble Reading, destroy target land, scry two. And I guess that's what we have. We have these, we have, so we have these eight cards to destroy their lands. We got the Ral, they can copy those also. So like whenever we cast, if we have Ral in play, whenever we cast one, we get to copy it also. And so, like, we're not trying to, like, destroy all of their lands all the time, but we're just trying to do it, like, right away to slow them down. Um, and uh, because of that, because we want to do it right away, we can do that as early as turn two. So we also have these four Leyline Abundances, which, when we're only playing eight mana creatures, isn't really spectacular to be playing Leylines. But they do give us the... Um, the really good hand of having like getting Leyline and Lanor Elf, and so you go like turn one Lanor Elf, and then turn two your Lanor Elf adds two mana, so you have two lands it adds two mana because your Leyline, and then boom you get to demolish Rubble Reading already on turn two. So yeah, like maybe we'll go like turn two Storm Conduit, uh, yeah, like we could technically play turn two Ral Storm Conduit, and then turn three. This is like our best possible hand, and this is very unlikely to happen, but uh, we could play this on turn two. Turn three, copy a demolish and destroy like both of our opponent's lands. If we were like on the play, and our opponent has two lands, we just destroy both of their lands. <laughs> That's that would be pretty awesome. Uh, we also have we have the blood sun lotus field combo in here to give us a bunch of mana with lotus field. Lotus field, of course, is uh, is is hex proof also, so we can uh, make it hex proof with or we can make a hex proof creature with Nissa. So that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, that's what our that's what our deck's about. Like we're we're gonna be like using Tamiya to rebuy these land destruction spells. So we're just trying to like slow them down because like their lands destroyed while we like ramped up, and then we play like a big Krasis or like Nissa, and then like our opponent uh, can't really deal with the Nissa and the Krasis uh, fast enough before they lose because of these land destruction stuff. Um, so we're not going with like the bigger land destruction stuff, which I'm a little sad with. I love me some haphazard bombardment. I'm in the basic land section. So there's no haphazard bombardments in here, which is which makes me sad. And of course, Star of Extinction. We don't have Star of Extinctions either. So those are some bigger land destruction spells, but looks like we're going small. We're going like just trying to get them right away, slow them down, and then go Nissa, Krasis, and then they don't have enough mana to overcome those cards. I think that's the plan. Let's see if it works. All right, land destruction. Let's do it. All right, let's see if we can get to five wins here. It is five win Friday. <laughs> Jank in the tank. Let's go. Oh, yeah. If there's blood sign, it would, would take the hex proof, yeah. <laughs> so if we get the phone to slam keyboards. Sinkhole fun. All right. Come on. We want Leyline, Land War Elf, two lands, and a land destruction spell. We really want Ral also and land destruction spell. Hmm. You don't see three land, four spells being a mulligan too much. This is kind of looking like it, though. Hmm. If I keep this, we have... We, we're on the draw, so like if our one of our first two draw steps is a mana creature. We have eight mana creatures. If one of our first two draw steps is a mana creature, then we have turn three Nyssa, if we keep it. 
Let's give it a try. Yeah, we just need the elf on top of the deck. Because this this could be a perfect hand. If we have if we have land war elf on top of the, the deck, this is just absolutely perfect. Land war elf. Darn. So now, now we need land war elf or paradise druid. Hmm. Alright, we took the risk. We took the risk. And unfortunately, our, our opponent's playing some aggro. Aggro... doesn't usually mind the whole land destruction thing. Boom. All right, Nissa lands add three mana. Like they add an extra mana with like the the Nissa lands that we animate. They'll add an extra mana for Crisis. So like we could play a, a really really big Crisis here potentially. Um, not this turn, but next turn. We're gonna be pretty dead though. For that. Alright, took a risk, did not work out. We're getting the sweepers in here, some coils, some fries. Um, got a lot of good little removal things. Sure, let's get a Chandra in here too. Unfortunately, the whole land destruction part of our deck just doesn't really matter in this matchup. I know it's our deck, but just none of these cards matter. Uh, so I guess we have to take them out. Which I guess means we're playing this thing and we're playing these things. Yeah, now we're teamer control. It's unfortunate. They're all just kind of cards that don't really matter. Though. I hope every match is not bored out land destruction. It's just against aggro, it's bored out land destruction. Especially one, like, monocolor aggro. Like, just tons of one drops. I hope we play against, like, you know, big mana decks and control decks and stuff like that. Like, it's Field of the Dead decks. So we want to be paired against as of course is Field of the Dead with our main deck Blood Suns. Hopefully it's not just the only aggro. Hmm. That's really annoying because Pride Mate is a 3 3 now, so we don't get to flame sweep it. Hmm. I'm going to hover over you like a dark cloud. If I could just distill lightning into a potion. All right, well, they really good scry to the bottom. So plan here is, oh no, don't play a creature. Oh no, all right, well, the plan's, the plan's gone. No plan anymore. No amount of science is gonna fix this. The plan was to have Ral. Ral wouldn't die. Like they attack Ral for four, then we minus two Ral and flames. Like this turn turns into a four four, then we minus two Ral and double double flame sweep. Hmm.
We will this is sad. Yeah, that Johnny's pride mate. Way too strong. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Not looking good. The land fights for us. Um, the most fun deck I've played recently, I'd probably say Mono. Black Control. Played that last, I don't know, I think like Sunday or so. And the last time we played it, but it's, it's just a lot of fun to play. I was kind of planning on let's just kill this thing. I need these lands still. I was kind of planning on casting the flame sweep, but I guess we can just do this and get rid of these flyers. Okay. Thank you so much, good brother. Um, I can't. I can't really do it tonight. Now that that take a while to build and everything. I don't know if we'd have time to like build that with play and all the other decks and everything. So is it The land shall conquer you. I mean it's okay if we if we wait till cuz yeah, I'm not going to be streaming the next 2 days. I know you had the the big donation there. And so I feel bad for making you wait. All right, indestructible lands. Spring eternal. Get all these forests out. Mm. 
it's not really worth it for us to play Lotus Field to sac sacrifice two lands that do two lands that tap for four mana for a land that taps for three mana. Behold, nature's true power. Okay, cool. All right, thanks. Yeah, I'm sorry. Couldn't really today, tonight. So what what day next week would you want me to to play it? You know, because no stream the next two days. So you, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Could play it any day. I don't know why I didn't attack. Rise, my elemental friend. Shelter in my stewardship. Behold, nature's my lands are indestructible. Should just be attacking. Yeah, yep, y'all are y'all are saying that. Which we're we're looking pretty great here. We'll see if the the three damage matters in the end, but it doesn't look like it will. Maybe it will. Dang, that thing's big. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And then we have four more, so 16. How much do we really want to play? Like, 16 draws us eight cards. Um, we can do more if we want to tap these things. 16 is probably just good enough. Oh, I guess like 16 mana, so 14. So we tapped one of those things. Eh, whatever. That's fine. Rise, my elemental friend. Yeah, now now we'll be able to just lay line the, this next turn and make a whole, you know, just get get more counters on these indestructible lands. Okay, Monday night. All right, good. Okay. That game did not look good for us for a while, but we got that really big Johnny's Pride Mate off the battlefield finally and ended up taking it down. Yeah, it turns out that Nissa card is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you not see all the land destruction? We had a lot of lands that destructed our opponent. Yeah, TME, TME called it destruction with lands. That's what that's what we that's what we were talking about destruction with lands. That's what we meant the whole time. Hmm. Uh, 
All right, Lotus Field in play. Got a dinosaur. Attacking doesn't make a whole lot of sense when we're at 14, they're at 20. Chomp. That's really nice to be able to chomp that thing. That car can get really scary. Think you can beat me? You're welcome to try. Ride oh. the lightning. I'll wait a little bit for this. This crisis. I think we can. We can ramp a little bit more. So right now, Crisis could be a 5-5. Five five. I guess I should do that. The War Leader is kind of scary. I want to draw my cards first before I scry, so I have more information. The of nature can show us many things. I was, my plan, if they didn't play War Leader, my plan was to minus two the Growth Spiral and just double Growth Spiral. I guess now we double fry. Get a double order of fries. Okay. This experiment has shocking repercussions. So, question is Burger King, McDonald's, Five Guys, In and Out, Whataburger, go. It's easy Whataburger. It's the best by far. I don't really consider Five Guys as much of fast food as like the other ones though also. But what a burger is like my favorite it's like maybe my favorite burger. It is so good. Can banish evil from this place. I believe in you. And then I'd probably go in and out then five guys. I could I could definitely be talked into five guys then in and out also. I don't know. Those two those two are next. They're they're really close. And then it's Burger King then McDonald's. I guess McDonald's a long ways down. Burger King not great, but not not too bad. Respectable. Um, I could just do this, I, I suppose. I guess, well, these only cost, so that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have enough to steal two things right now. Which is really all we need. I could copy it, I guess. Doesn't doesn't really matter. This ends the game. My experiments are mostly successful, except for that. 
share in my light. All right, want to know. All right, we didn't do too much land destruction there. But maybe this game, hopefully this game. I do like Wendy's more than Burger King or, or McDonald's. Jack in the Box is... Probably more on like the Burger King McDonald's level. I think I like Wendy's more the Jack in the Box for burgers. But I like I like Jack in the Box like tacos. Um Hardee's. Hardee's is kind of That's kind of like uh, Hardee's, Carl's, like, is Hardee's and Carl's Jr. just, like, the same thing? They seem like they're the same thing. Are they? They are the same thing? Okay. Those are really heavy burgers. So I don't didn't really want to shock. I know I could have played the Paradise Druid. We shock in there, but honestly, I'm I'm good with that trade. Like this this situation does make it look a little scary, and, and so like the opponent makes that trade, and I am all for it. They are missing out on lands though. I guess if I would have gone Paradise Druid, I could have cast this Rebel Reading this past turn, but then they would have killed my Paradise Druid. We need to find like a crisis. Um. All right, let's get some scry in. There's a crisis. Okay. Do I want to row? Row's not bad. All right, so I'm going grow spiral. Play Lotus Field. Yeah, I'm going to keep them both. Ral's going to be better. Ral's... Rouse like playable if my opponent kills Paradise Druid here. If they don't kill Paradise Druid, we'll go Krasis. Right, because three, four, five, six, seven. Krasis for five. A Taco Bell is just a, it's a fast food taco restaurant. Fast food Mexican restaurant. Mexican fast food restaurant. I guess that's how you say it. But dang, yeah, we, we did. I haven't played Golgari Citadel in a long time, no. Um, probably should play that one again. 
some point before these explore creatures rotate out. We just didn't quite have enough life. Cavalcade of Calamity is a tough card to beat. All right, trim it down a little bit on our deck, but not completely this time. I'm going to keep some land destruction stuff in. We are playing a land destruction deck, so I'm going to keep some of it in. <laughs> Google Maps calls Taco Bell Mexican-inspired food. Well, they're not, not wrong. Because food is really good, Storm. That's why we talk about food so often. It's really good. That, I mean, that's, that is true. The Taco Bell is not authentic Mexican food whatsoever. So that, it's very fair. I wanted to play Flame Sweep before playing Paradise Druid. Hope we draw a land and we get to cast Demolish next turn and hopefully our opponent has no lands no lands demolish darn swamp what's that swamp doing in here I don't know, but I'm destroying it. There's another one? Blight Beetle? Good job, Donis. Got a Cavalier Gales. That's a pretty sweet card. Yeah, they can go in different uh, Teamer Elemental decks. Um, they better stop before attackers. How do I get them to stop before attackers? I don't even know. Better stop before attackers here. Just. Yay. Probably should not shock to play Tamio.
against the Calamity deck. No, Black Beetle does not work on Nissa. No. Ow. I said don't shock. Uh oh. That's just game. I burned a bunch mm. of new burn spells. Don't worry. I brought company. Yeah. That's game. That with the firebrand in hand. Way to go, Herms. Way to get to Mythic there. Good job. All right, we're not going to be doing too well if we're playing against aggro like this. Rigel, welcome to the channel. Thanks for that resub there for the third month. You are awesome. Sub number nine on the day. Almost at that sub goal. We need our opponent to not be playing aggro. That's step one. Hopefully no no play. Land pass. Ooh, I love the land pass. Rubble Bell reading. Love it. Okay. Um, usually the Bant decks are the Scape Shift deck, so I think I want to keep the Blood Sun. Could just go Blood Sun and Lanwar Elf next turn. No, I'll just put the Lanwar Elf to the bottom, though. Four color. Four color. Wait. That's risky. Honestly, this is actually kind of bad to play. If they just have tap lands like this, making their lands untapped. Actually, I should have so I should have attacked with the Paradise Druid too. I just missed out on that. Wow. What a jerk. Yeah, we're blowing up a land for that. We're attacking the white sources. Okay, so this is a this is a Niv Mizzet deck. All right. Well, I wish I didn't keep this Blood Sun. Now. I wish my also wish my Nissa didn't get deputized. Okay, okay. That's a pretty good card. It's 
It's not really a good attack. Like, oh, yeah, 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 it is, yeah, it is. Because the only way to ki they kill it is... Is if they block with deputy attention and we get our Nissa back. No! Two, four, six, eight. I forgot that thing didn't have Vigilance. We just saw that it didn't have Vigilance. I keep messing up. Now I don't get to demolish this thing. Not casting Demolish really hurt there. And also just having the Blood Sun in play that they didn't have to shock. This Blood Sun hurts us more than it helps us in this matchup here. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. I guess this this leaves me open to if they draw land to finality, which would be really bad. Yeah, line, land finality would now be really bad. Yeah, there. Yeah, two lumbering battlements, corpse knight. That's infinite life loss. Yeah. Or you need three lumbering battlements, right? Yeah, you need you need three battlements for the infinite. So they're gonna neoform into another Niv Mizzet, sacrifice that one to flip journey, to, which then puts it back onto the battlefield. They just have to sacrifice it again, though. They're going to have 
two triggers. All right, so they got a lot of cards. But Like I think they're just dead though after doing that, right? Yeah, like they're just dead. I was just kind of like counting counting it out, triple double checking. So I don't want these blood suns. Those were pretty rough. I think we want some fries. I want a manipulation and is coil just better than fry? Maybe just coil. I don't really like Nissa that much in this matchup with them playing, <clears throat> you know, all the, the sweepers that they do. Like Clarion and stuff like that. Don't have a better plan, though. But yeah, Nissa, Nissa is just too powerful. I don't really have a better plan. <laughs> Blood Sun drew a Gracious, though, which led to victory. Well... Could also have just been the crisis if the blood sun wasn't there. Just be another card down. Submit. All right, no land destruction stuff here. We did a good job destroying a bunch of lands though. The last game, my opponent was stuck on five. Oh no! That'd have been a really good land war elf turn. We'll get rid of one of their five color creatures that helps fix fixes their mana. Can't really get rid of the other one though, unfortunately. I want to just destroy the Paradise Druid. Please attack with that Paradise Druid. Power surges through these lands. The land fights for us. I, I don't don't know if we can beat this or really. We gotta draw like Krasis. 
these Paradise Druids my opponents had have really fixed their mana perfectly. The ocean surges, life thrives. I'm not mad at that trade. Stop. Every problem has a solution. My brainstorms bring actual thunder and lightning. I do feel bad that I didn't bring in Fry. The land shall conquer you. I didn't really realize they're gonna have Aurelia when I was thinking of cards. That was not one that was on my mind. All right, well, we may not win this game. In fact, we, we won't. We'll get to destroy a bunch of lands. So that's cool. Leave my squids alone. That's what our deck's all about. They still have the two-turn clock in the air. We have to get really lucky to draw something to deal with this crazy or this Nivmizit. One drop ripples and grows. I don't really know why they didn't just untap their Niv Mizzet. Like Unless they have like counter spell. <clears throat> I have just the thing. I'm still counting this as a win. Good. They have no lands. Yeah, moral victory here. Definite moral victory. We got Kiora out of there and their lands. So if it wasn't for this Niv Mizzet that they they had. <clears throat> Look at all those cards that are stuck in their hand. Oh, that's that's only game two. We got another game. We got another game. All right, getting some fries. Can't really deal with Niv Mizzet very well. Sir Zapdos. Getting that gifted sub from Paul. Thank you so much, Paul. Getting us to that sub goal. Sub goal hype. Oh, gifted a tier three sub to Zerzaptos. 
Oh my gosh. Whoops. Well, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> thank you very much, Paul. Oh, man. Well, Sir Zapdos gets to use the foil hype boats now. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah, Storm, you gotta get your resub going. So we can demolish the artifact also. If we really want to, we can do that. I don't know if we really want to, though. Cry 2 is pretty nice. Yeah, they named Nissa with Spyglass. I was definitely hoping they did not have like that Paradise Druid. That's just... Ooh. Okay, okay. So I cannot go to I can't go ley line and demolish. Let's definitely go demolish. Now Tamio can rebuy. I can go Tamio minus. Pass turn. Pass turn. Nothing to play. No! No! Oh, that's such a killer. Oh, that's such a killer. Yeah, Spyglass gets a look at my hand so they get to see the Tamiyo. At least they can't make me discard, like, Nicol Bolas the Ravager doesn't make me discard anymore.
Come on. Just drawing Nissa after Nissa after Nissa here. Need to demolish. Destroy the spyglass. I need something to kill this paradise druid. See, I didn't I didn't put Nissa out there yet because I wanted to pump up this land war elf again. Ugh. <clears throat> Wanted to make it a 3-3, but that Tulsimer, obviously. Man, double Spyglass. What a beating. Dang. Yeah, those spy glasses, unreal. Not something I was expecting at all. Just two mana colorless shut me down. You know, they named Nissa, and then I draw three Nissas. Why couldn't we have drawn three Krasises instead of three Nissas? Dang. Yeah, we had some fun games though. That's that's what we were trying to do with this deck. Just have some fun games. Um did feel like we were missing haphazard bombardment um i'm not i'm not sure if i really like like the ley line of abundance i don't think i really liked the ley line of abundance honestly i think i'd rather those be haphazard bombardments haphazard bombardment is just so good but i did like like the ramp in this deck I, mean, I guess getting rid of Leyline does hurt that, but you know, I like I like having like like ramping this kind of stuff, slowing down with like demolish or rubble reading, but then haphazard can just put the game away. Because this this is basically destroy three lands. If you don't really know what this does, it's basically destroy three lands. Um they have to have like four lands out, I guess, for that. But this can also destroy other permanents though. You know, like you can put this um as long as it's not enchantments, but you know, like this could destroy spyglasses and everything like that. I want this card. Yeah, we need a little bit more land to Let's. I want this card. And plus, then this could also kill creatures, though, too. You know, like, you know, you're playing against the aggro deck. You can target, like, you know, put, like, a couple aim counters on, like, two creatures and two lands. And so you can kill some creatures also with Haphazard Bombardment. That's, like, the one thing that I w did kind of miss this card. But there we go. That was some fun land destruction stuff. An aim counter is just a counter. Um... But like they just you have to like name what the counter is because it doesn't say because you can't just say put a counter it's like well what kind of counter so they just call it a name counter so yeah it's just a, a random counter on the on the card there all right so if you're watching this video later on YouTube uh, hope you enjoyed this video hope you enjoyed this deck it's a lot of fun uh, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there and feel free to leave a comment as well. But thanks for watching some land destruction, and I'll see you for the next video.